Okay, YouTube, we're here with another modification to the horizontal stabilizer for our A330. This is the 320, and you can see I've got these uh, logo lights. This is going to be a logo light as well. You see how it's pointed up? Imagine this would be the front here. It's pointed up and in toward the tail. Um, don't have it glued yet because I can glue that later. And it worked out good because I just kind of popped it in where the where the servo was. Then routed the cable through. And I'm actually trying something new here. I'm going to go ahead and pull power off of the servo lead. So what we're going to do is we'll just uh, show you how this works with another plane here. Go ahead and power up this receiver here. This just runs an ESC to a little brushless and this plane did not work out well so anyway um I'm gonna pause it real quick get this wire plugged back in I, I'm gonna heat shrink over the top of these and I'll, I'll show you the finished product here but for now I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and then uh, we'll show you what it looks like hooked up to this orange uh, it's got stabilization on it so I can just wiggle it and make it move Hey guys, we're back. Got the heat shrink on these two wires. And it's just a servo end, so all you gotta do is just take and basically, sorry about that. You gotta lift this little tab up. You gotta lift that little tab up and then this thing just yanks out. You just separate the leads from one another. And then you can come back here and uh, you should just use a pair of strippers to superficially strip the wire and then you just kind of pull the sheath back and forth and wrap the copper around it, throw a little solder in that joint. It becomes one thing. Well, it's an alloy still, but whatever. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, I think this is, I want to go into like the aileron port. So it looks like the aileron port is going to be for us. Aileron left. Okay, so I'll just unplug this. And we'll go ahead and plug this in and you guys can watch for smoke and flames. Hey, look at the lights on. There you go, guys. Now, just make sure it works, which it is clearly working. Not moving a ton, just because it's kind of hard to get a ton of movement out of a little stabilization box. By the way, I would not recommend this, guys. That's why it's a test unit. I, that's why I have this wreckage. That plane did not crash once, but probably five times. And it was, it was flying along, and then no control whatsoever. Real good way to lose a plane. So, uh orange three axis flight stabilizer with dsm2 receiver negatory what is not a negatory on the other hand is my lemon rx receivers lemon rx with stabilization man is the way to go guys eight total channels two of which are tied up with controls so you end up with six and if you can tie into one of those channels for lights or whatever, then you can uh, you get these end pin or vertical pins, kind of like what the orange one was. I usually go with end pin. They seem to sneak into tight spots. And they come with a double-sided tape and then the jumper. So Anyway, guys, um, it's going to look cool. It's going to look really cool. I'm excited. So basically, it's going to tap a little bit of juice from the receiver just need to make sure it's not getting too hot and that's the function of doing this test right now is to just let it run and then the next test is going to be to stick this into the fuse and just uh, get that light pointed in the correct direction so that it lights up the vertical stabilizer on this uh, tail section of the A330 and obviously it's going to plug into this extension cord which is yet to be terminated so hence the test over here thanks for watching guys keep your eyes out for more exciting 
stupid lighting projects that won't make my life any better, but much, much cooler looking. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.